How is everyone doing? And welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Von the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Von the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VonTheStatMan.com. Now, you might want to go on my website a few times a week because I might be giving out a few hidden gems that can help you to win your DFS contest each week and also help you dominate your fantasy leagues. So, y'all ready? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Stat Room. Guys, I'm Vaughn the Stat Man, and guys, I want to say thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch another video as you follow me on my DFS journey. And guys, I started my DFS to help the fans have a fair chance against all of the high-tech, high-powered DFS creators, because I realized that FanDuel isn't fans going against fans. It's high-tech guys with algorithms and insider information taking the money from the fans. So I'm going to try to help you guys put money in your pockets tonight. And what I'm going to do on this 12-game slate, I want to show you guys how my system works. I'm not going to explain how my system works, but I'm going to put players out there and we're going to see how the lineup does. All right, so let's go right into it, guys. So a couple games I like on the slate, guys. I'm going to really focus on this Brooklyn-Washington game. With Kyrie Irving being out and Ben Simmons being out, I know Brooklyn seems to be overmatched. This is going to be their second game without having Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is my fault. Not the second game with Kyrie Irving being out. It's going to be this, the second game with Steve Nash after he has been fired. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in Patty Mills at point guard because Patty Mills is the only ball handler, I would say, who's close to being able to play the point guard. So I believe Patty Mills can get us 20 to 30 points. And at 3-8, we will take it. He can possibly get 30. He should get 30 tonight because he's going to get about 10 shots as well. And he's well rested. Now, we're going to also, since we have the screen open, we're going to stack him with Durant. You can't fade Durant when he's going to get 30 shots. He's going to get 30 shots and he's well rested. And he just played at home. So the short travel down to D.C. is not going to affect him in any kind of way. He's also had more time to process Steve Nash being fired, although he was one of the ones who wanted Steve Nash out. So now with that out of the way and Kyrie Irving out, I think they're going to just go down there and Washington is going to be overlooking this team. Brooklyn, these guys I'm putting in will probably be in the million dollar contest. So we're going to put O'Neal in there as well. So now let's go and create the rest of the line. Okay, guys, so... Now, with that being said, Washington is going to play Morris. I don't see how Morris gets stopped. With Patty Mills being the only point guard, that means Marcus Morris is going to be able to roam all over the place. This is going to be Marcus Morris's highest scoring game. If Marcus Morris doesn't put up 35 points today, he probably won't because he's going to get a lot of assists. He's going to be able to drive to the hole because if Kyrie was there, Kyrie would have had Morris in the in the glove. But without Kyrie Irving playing, Morris should ball out. Next, I'm going to give you guys Garland. Guys, you want to play Garland as you want to play him right now because you're not going to see Garland at 7-9 for the rest of the season. Garland is a 50-point performer. And I know he just came off a 60-point game. But I want you guys to come back. You have to come back and watch this video again tomorrow because if Garland is a game time decision. He's saying he has knee soreness. So if he doesn't play, then you want to sub him out and you want to put in Maxi. So remember, come back to this video. If Garland doesn't play, put in Maxi. OK, so next player on the list. Guys, we putting in Reggie Jackson. So. We're going to we're going to take. Mills out and we're going to put Jackson in that slot and then put Mills at the shooting guard because I think Reggie Jackson is only point guard eligible. So we're going to put Reggie Jackson in and then at the shooting guard, we're going to get Mills back in. All right. So now you have the center position, guys. I'm going to go down and I'm going to give you guys Valachunas. I love Valachunas. I believe that he is going to put up 45 plus against Golden State. Now, 
since you was able to save so much money because you got an inexpensive Brooklyn stack and those three Brooklyn players should get you 100 points. We're going to put in Anthony Davis. Utah is very small down low. This should be one of them 70 point Davis games. He should put up 30 points. I would say 15, 16 rebounds. He should get four blocks at a minimum. I would say maybe a steal. And he's only going to probably get two or three assists. But he should put up 60. And the last player on this list, guys, we're going to put in Cameron Johnson. And I know he's had two big games. But Cameron Johnson, I love him. And if guys, if you want to be contrarian, you can put in Aldama. I believe Aldama is going to put up about 25 to 30. But I just think Portland is a fast-paced game. So I believe that you're going to have to play more of a fast-paced guy to match. So that is why we're going to put in Johnson. I believe Johnson. And look, he's coming off, off of two solid games. He's at 28, 31, 47. I don't expect 47. But at 4-5, you won't get him at 4-5 for the rest of the season. He's really a 5-8 player. I see him putting up about 32 to 33. He's the best three-point shooter on the team. Booker is the best shooter as far as mid-range. But Cameron Johnson is the best actual three-point shooter. So now, guys, if you want to win your fantasy, start these players. If you made it this far, hit that like button. Hit that share button and subscribe to my video. You want to win your fantasy? Start point guard Garland. You want to know why? Well, he's on one of the highest scoring teams in the NBA. And you will never see 7-9 for Garland for the rest of the season because he is a 45 to 60 point player every single night. So if you want to win your fantasy, start point guard Garland. You want to win your fantasy? Start shooting guard healed. You want to know why? Well, he's a three-point assassin, and he's in a pace-up game, and he's going to shoot and shoot and shoot. So if you want to win your fantasy, start healed. You want to win your fantasy? Start small forward Durant. You want to know why? Because he's the best player in this matchup, and he has no Kyrie Irving, and he can get 30 actual points a night. And he's going to get rebounds, assists. So if you want to win your fantasy, start small forward Durant. You want to win your fantasy? Start power forward Turner. You want to know why? Well, he's a shot blocker. And he's one of the top rebounders. And he can stroke that tray ball. So you want to win your fantasy? Start power forward Turner. You want to win your fantasy? Start center Porzingis. You want to know why? Well, he's going to get you 40 fan duel points and he should get you about two or three blocks and he is not going to get out muscle because he's going up against another thin man down low. So if you want to win your fantasy, start center Porzingis. And my word for today is mind. I'm going to quote the great David Goggins. David Goggins says, you need to learn to callous your mind. What that means, guys, is your mind is basically designed to keep you safe. It wants to keep you out of danger. When things get tough, the mind say, no, go light, go light, take your time. But guys, you got to push through that. So the things that you hate to do, you have to do those things to train your mind into being strong. So when your mind is wandering off into that negativity, get up and do something positive. Like if you're in that sucky place and your mind is Wanting to do all of these safe things, get up and go jogging. If you hate jogging, go jogging. If you hate reading, read. Because when your mind, when you can learn to callous your mind, that's when you'll start winning in life. Love you guys.